Hey guys, well you probably hear the rain and the storms in the background. You're also probably going to hear a few planes going over. I think we have some initial attack going on uh, with some lightning strikes and some uh, bushfires. There was a bucket chip, probably I think it was a, yep, there's a second one just launching off. So I think they're going to put some strips down on something that's starting off in the mountains there. But uh, today, while we're out in the beautiful BLM land in fresh rain, we're going to talk about the Oedro 20 inch bar, LED bar light. Now I'll tell you right away, one of the reasons that I uh, agreed to do the original review is yes, they're a little bit of a bargain LED bar. Uh, however, some of the features they have on it are everything you'd see in higher end products. I'll put you a little close up here, but there's this side of the bar has a little bit of moisture in it. Um, does that concern me? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, have I had that with other high end products? Absolutely. I will put in my original Rigids that I did years ago. They're Gen 1 products. I had moisture all over those. And those were about $100, I think a piece or $100 a pair. This 20 inch bar was originally $50. Um, after this long term test, you can tell it still comes on. We'll throw in some night shots here. Uh, when I originally tested it two years ago, um, you guys also know if you've been following the channel, I'll put a link up there. But I have a retrofit HID kit on the Scout. And what that does is it gives me absolutely tremendous ability to see at night on the road, hands down, well over an original 1977 Scout has. So my biggest concern was these cheaper units, whether or not it would produce enough light. And again, I'll put in some night shots. You can tell for yourself. I honestly don't use this as much as I thought I would. I know the smaller pods, I said that they were almost just, I had to use them for work lights. Um, simply because the, the HID just outperforms them. This is definitely noticeable. It definitely fills in a little bit of the front here, and you'll see that from the photos. All right, guys, we had quite the lightning and thunder show a few minutes ago. We are going to get our lighting show on the road. What you are looking at ahead of you is my, well, not stock, but my Scouts retrofitted headlights. Uh, these are HID. These are the old E55s. They're out of Mercedes-Benz, and I think Land Rover used them as well. Um, I'm going to kick this on high, which is basically just removing the shield, and you'll see what kind of distance we can get. Gives you a little more accurate representation of how far these things can go uh, other than just being in my driveway. Now we're going to kick on the LED. Now, as you can see, it does a, a good job of front lighting everything. It's definitely an impressive amount of light coming out of a 20 inch bar, but let's see how far it throws when I turn off my headlamps. Uh, not very far, as I was saying. It's very up close lighting. It is great lighting. It's auxiliary lighting. It's gonna get you more than I had previously. But uh, as you can see, we even lost those juniper trees. I can just see them with my naked eye. The camera's not quite picking them up, but um, even with 20 inch bar. So let's step it up a notch. Maybe we'll get the, uh, the larger bar and see what we can do. Uh, my biggest issue here with the 20 inch is I wanted to know how a unit like this fared. We are two years into testing this. From 2017 to right now, we are almost at the end of 2019. This has been on the Scout through all of our snow, through everything else, this thing is still going. Um, you know, the cooling fins, the way it attaches, it's still solid as a rock. Now, the other thing I really liked about the OA Dro is they actually had smooth reflectors. When you zoom in here, I'll throw in a photo, a lot of these cheaper units, they look like crinkled up foil. Um, you know, you're not gonna get a very long throw with that. It's gonna diffuse all your light and your light is only going to go as far as how much power you can put through those LED emitters. With a smooth reflector, you can shape it just like your headlights. You can shape that light and you can project it a little bit down the road. So I would say for the price that these are, like I said, I think they're now 25 or $30. Um, and you're looking for a 20 inch light bar that does not break the bank. These guys have not let me down. They're still going strong. There is moisture in here. I no doubt this. This will dry off, you know, down the road. I'm sure they just need to put in a better breather. Uh, but their emitters, their reflectors are good. And like I said, high-end lights, I've had issues with them. Now, more than likely, I'll go up to maybe a Baja Design or even a Livid product out of Australia for the Adventure Bus. Um, with the conversion I've done on the bus, we'll do a video on that down the road. Uh, I really need more light than those HIDs can produce. 
These are gonna be great, even like a 10 inch or six inch area lights, backup lights, if you're using for auxiliary lights, side lighting, um, even some of their pods if you put up there on your A pillar to help fill out that ditch light. You know, you certainly don't need the most expensive light in the world for that. To go straight down the road, look for deer, kangaroos. Yeah, you're gonna need something like a retrofit kit or at least a better product uh, that's gonna get down the road. All right guys, well some of my initial fears um, have been put to bed. Um, I wanna know how these did long term. Two years in, this is still going strong. For the money, you guys, you can't beat it. Um, I'm gonna look to do a larger unit, maybe a 50 inch bar on top, and let's see if we can, just by sheer volume of LEDs, if we can outshine a proper retrofit kit. And then uh, obviously, as I mentioned, for the adventure bus, I need to get some distance. So a light bar of any design uh, isn't really going to solve that. I'm gonna go to a, a larger reflector LED um, for the top mount of the adventure bus. But I'll put a link in below. I don't get anything for this, guys. I was sent this product for review by the company. They have since sort of moved on. They do all sorts of other things, tonu covers, and I just looked at the website. They do a little bit of everything. Check them out. I think they're on eBay, Amazon, all that sort of stuff. But if you're looking for a cheap LED bar, um, these guys have all the things you're looking for. A good quality reflector, good LEDs. They've lasted over a couple years for the price. Let me know what you think. If you're running anything that's the same price, I know Oxbeam and a few other companies offer pretty good value, but from what I've seen, some of the cheaper units that you get, those reflectors are absolute nonsense. Um, and these guys at least have a solid foundation that they're building on with a nice cheap package. So, Wandered Beast with a OA drill, however you say it, I still don't know. 20 inch bar, I put a links down below. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll see you down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.